I S Earth, the most perfect and the most um yeah I don't know what to say but Earth, Earth is the only habitable planet in the solar system and is located in the Goldilocks zone. In case you don't know what's the Goldilocks zone, the Goldilocks zone is a habitable zone which is suitable of hosting. Hosting life, and the one most important key that Earth is having is oxygen because it's one of those abundant keys that it's a like some sort of a key to a life form. So I'll just show you how how Earth all formed. So Earth was formed during like four billion years ago, or maybe like five billion years ago, at, after the solar system was born. It, the Earth was just like a small, small, small rock. But as it grew, because it collided with one of those asteroids, it became like a molten hell, about 4,000 degrees Celsius. That's the freaking average temperature like, of Earth during, during like 4 billion years ago. And then, and then everything changed when, the, when Thea, a Mars-sized planet, just struck Earth. It's like, like, people say that when they translate Thea, it's called Unt. Yeah, I, but it's like some sort of other languages, but I'll just call it Thea or Thea, whatever you want to call. So the Mars-sized planet co just collides and then it forms our moon. And our moon creates tide, tidal waves on, here on Earth. And as Earth cools down, the, o the oceans begin to emerge. At that moment, the, the oceans were just lit, just freaking pink. And, and at that moment, heavy implications of co comets and meteors are, stri are striking down the Earth due to the extreme, like the stream mass and gravity. And then some, some of the comets and some of the meteors and comets has minerals like oxygen, water, like cyanobacteria and other kinds of living forms inside of this asteroid. And then, and then it forms those simplest like, mm, simplest kinds of life forms and then cyanobacteria is the most interesting part because it literally just photosynthesizes it just converts into oxygen which allows us to pump more oxygen from the atmosphere making having like an even more chance to capable of hosting life and as life grow and evolve evolve from uh dinosaurs going to extinct during the kpg event in case you don't know what's kpg is like when it's a event that killed one of the dinosaurs the chick the chick slope asteroid of about 10 kilo 10 kilometers uh 10 kilometers big okay so from monkeys to humans to humans from like developing ai and so something like that like earth is evolving but it may go like in the downfall because it has like three possibilities number one that number one that human could develop so so intelligent that he that the, the people decided to oh well, let's leave this ga leave this um galaxy and then go to another galaxy to just explore it just like that like and then the second the second possibility is stupidity oh no stupidity are you kidding me so stupidity is like some sort of society like going going down like it, it gets even worse well, like every 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 century and i don't know if my mic is working but oh well well we just this is this is they're, they're talking about or so so the third possibility is that plants may grow like plants may evolve that they just started to outnumber human race and then as human culture start to fall down plants begins to grow and grow like they will grow further and then just leaving with nothing behind but just only plant life how sad it is but if like if humans go extinct maybe it will one time emerge again because it's just, there's a chance of intelligent life just form again so yeah that's that's all like that's all about earth and also the size of earth is 14 around 14,000 kilometers big like yeah uh, like it's it's slight slight slightly bigger than venus okay so that's it for today and bye bye i hope i was i hope this is gonna be good or something <laughs> i I'm, I'm very nervous about my mic already